Welcome to the login page of the ZeroMed Universal Viewer. The user can access the system in three different ways. Through the login with the username and password, directly using an HTTP link which automatically opens the exam in which you are interested in, or through a single token managed by a hospital information system or a similar application. If you log in through username and password, the system opens the search exam panel in which you can search for the exam through a series of filters like last name, first name, birth date, patient ID, modality, study in SOCD, or others. The basic tool like Zoom, Pen, Window Level, and uh, Scroll are set on the mouse in order to allow the user an easy experience of the software. There are two types of menu. One pop-up, which appears with a click on the image, and one on the right, which can be scrolled and can be personalized per each modality and per each user. The system allows the user to compare the current exam with one or more previous exams. There are three different ways in which the user can compare the exam with the previous one, through the settings of the hanging protocols or through two different buttons. The first way is using the folder button with the star. The star means that this patient has at least one previous exam of the same modality, in this case a previous mammogram. The system opens automatically that exam on the right. The second way is use the paper button under the previous one. The system opens the patient history and the user can select the exam to be compared. The third allows the user to compare the exam with the previous pressing the right of the left arrow in order to change the selected hanging protocol. In this way, the system shows all the engine protocols set for the user, also the one with the previous exams. The Zeromet Universal Viewer allows the user to open each kind of images and signals produced in a hospital. The user can report ECGs directly on the Zeromet Universal Viewer. The most important thing is that the ECG is not a static PDF. Is the real signal we can be modified in visualization amplitude and filtering The measurements on the bottom part of the screen are taken directly from the file, but the user can modify them, taking new ones both in frequency and in amplitude. In the white space on the bottom, the user can write the report. The system manages also different types of ECGs, for example a dichomized PDF. The ZeroMed Universal Viewer allows the user to report mammograms and tomosynthesis. The open exams contains both mammograms and tomosynthesis. The hanging protocols are set at the state of the art, but they are highly configurable per user, per role, or with a global protocol. Surfing through the protocol, the user can see the cranial caudal, the mediolateral oblique, and the cranial caudal mammograms compared to the cranial caudal tomosynthesis. 
the thermosynthesis can be scrolled with the mouse wheel. It's important to highlight that the blue slider does not follow the score of the images. The user can see the position of the image while scrolling with the yellow breast on the external side of the image. The mammograms can be automatically compared to one or more previous exam if set in the hanging protocols. The top craniocaudial images are from the current exam. The bottom are from the prior exams as indicated by the system in the bottom center of the image. The system has some dedicated tools such as the black and white inversion and the possibility to save annotation on the database. If the user takes a measurement, He can choose if his annotation is malignant or benignant. And he can choose whether the measure must be saved on the database. If the annotations are not visualized on the screen, clicking on the eye in the annotation panel allows the user to visualize the image with that annotation. The ZeroMed Universal Viewer manages not only images as signals, but also videos. The video can be visualized in its original size, put in pause and play it again, and put in the full screen mode. The user can take snapshots of the most interesting part and perform a cut of the video, eventually modifying the original size. The snapshot and the video cut can be decomized and saved on the packs. In the top right of the screen, many PDF icons are present. These PDFs are the reports attached to this surgical operation. The one on the right is the newest. The viewer allows the user to compare different modalities. For example, this video can be compared with a CT. The ZeroMed Universal Viewer contains some advanced tools. The first one allows the user to perform the MPR reconstruction in a CT exam with the button with the box or with the space bar. The system performs the MPR reconstruction and allows the user to visualize the coronal view in the left image, the sagittal in the top right and the axial in the bottom right. The color of the axis represents the color of the image put in the top right for the coronal view and in the top left for the others. The user can interact with axis scroll through slices or interact with the old model. The thickness of the slices can be modified per each panel.
and the algorithm can be changed from the maximum IP to the mean IP to the minimum IP. The second tool allows the creation of a key object selection, KOS. The user can select the interesting images and press on the Create Cost button with the light bulb. The user can choose the category of the cost. And insert a brief test. The cost can be applied automatically or not through a tick. After the creation of the cost, a bulb appears in the top right of the screen. Selecting that bulb, the user can visualize only the selected images. By selecting it, he can visualize the whole exam again. The third tool allows the user to ask a real-time second opinion to another physician. With the sharing session button, the user can send an email to a mapped physician, can share an URL, or send a message through WhatsApp. The tab on the right is an incognito page with, which is used to simulate a different device, which can be desktop or even smartphone. The receiver must have an account on the system, and after the login, he can see the same image of the first physician. Both physicians can interact with the system. The primary physician can decide that only he can interact. Now, the others can only visualize the operation of the first physician. There are no limitations in the number of the user which can be involved in a second opinion. The primary user can send the connection link even if the session has been started. When the primary user decides that the session shall be closed, he selects the Close Session button and the others cannot access any more to the exam.